Hi, I'm Alex Novikov, and I'll be giving you an overview of what is Crow and how you can use it in your teaching. In my presentation, I will cover the following four topics. First, I will talk about what a corpus is in general and what Crow corpus is. Second, I will provide information on how to access Crow. Third, I will talk about what Crow consists of. And finally, I will offer some ideas on how to use Crow in your teaching. In a nutshell, corpus, and plural is corpora, is a collection of texts that are organized in a systematic and principled way. Some corpora are available online and can be used in teaching and research. Crow is one of those corpora that is available online. It is a corpus of college level student writing, but also it is a repository of instructor materials that are associated with the student texts. The student texts and instructor materials currently come from foundations writing courses at the University of Arizona, Purdue, and Northern Arizona University. Both the corpus and the repository can be accessed online through a web interface at crow.corporateproject.org. When you go to the Crow webpage, this is what the landing page will look like. On the left, you can access the corpus of student writing, and on the right side, there is the repository of pedagogical materials. This presentation will focus on the corpus part of the project. To learn more about the repository, please watch a separate presentation. The corpus and repository is password protected. To get access, please fill out an access request form, which you will see after you click on search corpus on the landing page. When you click on the corpus, this is what the page will look like. On the left, there is what we call filters. These filters are drop-down menus with options that you can select. For example, under Institution, you can select University of Arizona, Purdue, or Northern Arizona University. I will cover the information about the filters in more detail in the next few slides. Under the Assignments filter, some of the available assignments are Literacy Narrative, Genre Analysis, Annotated Bibliography, Literature Review, Controversy Analysis, Portfolio, and more. Again, these assignments can be filtered by specific information about the courses, such as institution and year and semester, and the students, such as college, program, year in school, country, and proficiency test scores, and more. Now that you're familiar with the filters, you can use the search bar to search for word or phrase in the student text. Note that if you're searching for a phrase, you need to put it in quotation marks in the search bar. The slide shows the use of three filters, institution, course, and assignment, with the arrows pointing to each. The search is for the word writing, which is one of the more frequent words in literacy narratives. As you can see, the instances of this word found in the corpus are highlighted in yellow in student texts. To see more context from student texts, you need to click on each excerpt with highlighted words. After you click on one of the excerpts, you'll be able to see different components, such as sentences containing search term, original text, drafts, instructor materials related to the text, similar text by other students, course data, student data, and text data. In the next four slides, you'll be able to see each of those components.
For example, here is a list of sentences containing the search item rating. Here is the original text for more context. Here you can access different drafts of the same student assignment. Also, you can access other student texts that are similar and instructor materials associated with this text from the same class. In this case, it is English 107 taught in spring 2018. Each text has further information about the course, the student, and the text itself. So now, with all this information, the question is, how can one use Crow for teaching? First, you can use Crow to find model texts or text excerpts from different courses and assignments. Second, you can search for specific words or phrases and see how they're used in context. Third, you can explore how students respond to prompts to compose their texts. Fourth, you can raise students' awareness of genres by making explicit connections between those genres and language being used in those genres. Thank you for your time and interest in the project. If you have any additional questions, please email Shelley Staples or Bradley Dilger. If you'd like to stay updated, visit our blog at writecrow.org.